sure to like and, and smash that subscribe button. Well, I just gonna tell y'all. The only thing hurt in this video, nothing was hurt, nothing was damaged or nothing. The only thing hurt in this video was my ego. Cause I was looking for deer and I didn't even see one deer. And I thought myself I was a pretty good deer hunter. I usually okay. see some old does or something, but I didn't even see a deer. So the only thing hurt in the making of this video was my ego. Well, we're off on a trip. I'm going cheap riding and deer looking. Going a little deer hunt, seeing what I can see. I'm just riding and looking, see where they're walking, look for some trails and stuff to hunt off of. I'm gonna hunt a little bit in the next month, middle of the month to the end of deer season. I'm gonna knock around the woods a little bit. It's time to start hunting. They start moving. I used to start early, I'd burn out. So I started waiting until January, the end of December, January to hunt. So we going looking. We done in the country. Got him on back to the old country road. Riding and looking. Met the game warden. What's that say? If you can meet a guy that makes your heart beat bad, most likely it's a game warden. along with compensation for study related travel Let's go down this road right here or call 850 be a beaver down there that's anchor neuroscience.com or call 850-433-6760 get your house clean call ultra 5291 that's 25 ultra wash mode it's so cheap yeah, got we're with Ed Rowan of Taylor Martino Law Firm right now, and Ed, it's the holidays, which means it's, it's incredibly dangerous. And so we're asking people, you know, when they're going to football, just don't drink and drive. When you're hustling and bustling from one place to another. The moment and taking eye brands, Pablo's cycle. Let's get it. Eye brands, 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women also men. Get in low gear here. There we go. Get in now, him crawl. I can't even mash the gas. I need to get in second gear. Or don't be so touchy. We're coming up on the beaver pond here. Not, sometimes there's a pretty rough crossing right here. I haven't been down here in a year or two. But I like this down here. One of my favorite places to come. You get to see an intact beaver dam. Need to look and see if I can get across to here. Stop and look. Get out of this seat belt. See if I can get out. Drew Russo, a cardiologist. Maybe you're waiting to talk to your doctor right now. But if you're having an irregular heart rate, heart rate, heart rate, there it is. You are looking at a beaver dam. Full fledged beaver pond right here. There's the dam running across the road right here. And I think I can get down this road in my little old Jeepster. I might have been going across here. See how they cut them bushes and pile that dam? Mud bank on the other side pushed up out there. A little water drifting across it. Quiet beaver pond right here. 
in the Blackwater River Forest. I'll come over here fishing one day. I'm sure there's some fish in here. Drift from Jeep a little bit. I'm gonna take this him top canvas window off. I got top canvas window off that door. Or it'll be open all the way through. See what I can make it like. There it is undressed. But the window's out. I can see better out most sides now. It's for woods hunting. We ready to go. Let's ease across this little old road right here. We'll ease across that road and see what we can do. We gotta ease on up here and through that creek right there. We got this thing in four wheel drive low. Let's see what we got. Landing right across there. We got the mall. Find where deer crossing. Coming up on an oak thicket here. There ought to be some good squirrel hunting in here. I need to come in here squirrel hunting one day. Give me some tree rat to eat. Forest boundary. We right here on it. 
We should be coming up on the pipeline real quick. You can see a long way. A lot of people sit on this pipeline. Huh? A little raw right here. This is not over here. A little pond right over here. Slew, wet weather. That private fence on that side of the road right there. Come along up here in the corner. Just a little ways up here. Here's the pipeline coming across private land up here. Something's across up there, I'd have to let it fall. You look at me and everybody say, well, you don't look like a deer hunter. You in blue jeans and a shirt and just a round jacket, camouflage hat and a red handkerchief. I've killed more deer in the blue jeans than most people ever have in camouflage. Except some of these professional deer hunters that go kill them tame deer. I've killed more wild deer in blue jeans than most people do in camouflage. Camouflage is a new thing. I've hunted since I was a boy in blue jeans and just whatever I had to wear. Now you have to wear this orange. Back when I first started out, you didn't have to have orange on. But uh, you gotta have orange on now. So I got my orange on. But you don't have to dress special. You just gotta have a sharp, keen eye, hunt the wind. Where they, your wind ain't blowing your scent in on your deer. You got to hunt the wind and uh, move slow. You can't move fast. You get, in a, you get in a stand sitting somewhere, you go to whipping your head around like that, that deer sees it. You got to be sitting there and you got to turn your head sort of like this. You can buy all the best camouflage, most expensive in the world. But if you can't be still, still, still the best camouflage. You can get out there in a white shirt if you can be still. And you get out there and go to flapping skeeters like this, them deer are going to see you. You got to be set up for skeeters before you get out there. Because you get out there and you got to go to fighting skeeters, you ain't going to see no deer. They see you before you see them. So uh, if you're going hunting, Get you some Skeeter gear. Skeeter repellent. One of them thermosail thing deals. And get out and be still. Still, still the best camouflage that you, you have. Now, I'm a gadget man. I've probably bought every deer gadget that you get. Grunt, call. Look at him. Here's what's wrong with the world today. Let me show you. There's Mardi Gras beads hanging on a bush here. You ought to keep your junk in the car, in the truck. You shouldn't be hanging around on bushes. And I'm sure they didn't throw that from New Orleans over here. We're coming up on a name numbered road here. See them yellow posts? In the Blackwater River Forest. You good to go as long as you got one of them, one of them posts there on the road. Looking on 
hogs down here in the draw bottom. You can see some white tails go running off down there. There's an old gopher hole right there. You can tell by the shape of it. See it rounded at the top, flat on the bottom. Gopher digs them out and go in there. That ain't been used because it got leaves and everything. Ain't nothing been going in and out there. That's an old gopher hole. Gopher is a highland tortoise. And people used to eat them for food. My daddy's ate several of them. I've ate one or two myself. But they're on the endangered species list now and you can't eat them. They're not considered food anymore. We're gonna get back over here and get out of here and go to another place. Look and see if we can't see some deer moving. That's what this whole little expedition this afternoon is is about, is finding some deer that's moving. So we're gonna go play somewhere else. We get back across this hill. Beaver Creek down over here. See if we see any. come to an end, huh? And we want to help you do it right with the Floribama New Year's Eve Bash. Get signed up to win your way in at 961 therocketcom We pray we'll see you in the rapture.